we're going to do some explorations with layer mask this is a wonderful tool and I strongly advise you to spend as much time as possible on learning all levels of this tool and you will be richly rewarded for it when you open up your image and I will find my layer palette here my layer palette unlock your image by double clicking on it okay and if you go up to layer and layer mask this will reveal everything and you have this two symbols here on your layer palette and you have to be careful because if you click on this symbol you're working with all your paint tools see how my color chips are here on my palette my tool palette and watch when I click on the mask symbol they change to black and white so all of my tools work with the black and white mask so if I have my pencil tool now and I click here you might say oh Elaine you're erasing the leaves but I'm not watch my palette you see I am going and I am working on my mask and if I want to put it back I put the white on and you see it's coming back but if I go here on the image and I use something I actually am painting on the image and I'm doing nothing to the mask so you have to learn how this works you click on the mask if you want the mask you click on either the black or the white and you can work on your mask but this is one way to create your custom mask now I'm gonna do this pretty messy here because I'm doing this real fast just to show you as an example but here's your mask and you can go in and you can be really careful on it and there it is and if I hit the alt I see it in the black and white with the mask and I hit the alt again and I see uh, what it looks like the mask and the image if I hit the alt shift and click I see the mask with the color that it has and if I want to uh, change the color of the mask or the opacity of the mask I double click this and I can change the color of the mask to be anything I want and I can change the opacity of the mask to be anything I want also and now see it's my tools still work I can still work with my mask so sometimes it's nice to be in this mode which was with the alt shift while I was clicking on the mask because I can actually see uh, my image and I can see my mask too in any opacity that I want and then I can click on this again with the alt and I can get back to this and if I hit the alt control it actually selects the mask or I can do control D to deselect and another way of selecting mask is to click here I can disable the mask this way temporarily or here I can disable it like this or I can enable the mask like this so that's one way of using the mask the first way we showed you to use the mask was uh, layer mask reveal all and I will disable this or delete it so I am back to the original and now we'll go to layer layer mask hide all so you can also hide all and have the reverse effect and you can hit this be on your mask and you can click on this and you can see you can get your mask this way now I really don't know where the edges of the flower are but if I click and I hold the alt I'll see the black and white of the layer mask and if I hold the alt shift and click on the mask I will see the mask which I can change I can change it to any color I want and any opacity I want and I can start pulling out here I can pull out to the edge the edge of the flower just like this just like this just like this and then I can revert and go like this so this is another way 
to make your mask. You have to learn and practice all the different ways of making the mask. You can make it smaller or larger, make the mask, the edge of the mask. Now I'm using the pencil, so the edge of the mask is quite hard. I'm doing this quite fast. So if I wanted to use the brush, I could have this on the edge and I could have this very soft mask here on the edge. So you can create a soft mask edge for yourself, you see, or you can create a hard edge mask for yourself. So the first two ways I showed you were reveal all, put this back on, and there it is. And while it's back on like this, you can be taking away, so you can be adding while it's back on, or you can be taking away while you have the image here, just like that. So now I'm going to delete this mask, and I'm going to go back up to Layer Mask. This is the way the other selections you notice are grayed out. See, Reveal All, Hide All. Uh, if you use one of your selection tools, like the Magnetic Lasso tool I'll use, and we'll go around, that was one of the ways of extracting things, you can make yourself a selection. Maybe you saved a selection when you made a quick mask. So if you already have a selection done, like we will have here in a minute, like that, we have our selection. Now notice we go to Layer, Layer Mask, we have more choices. We have Reveal the Selection, and we get this, and we also can edit just the same as we did. Alt key, we see black and white. Alt again to bring it back. Alt shift will give us the color of the mask, which we can change by clicking on the mask like this. Or Alt control will give us the selection. Control D stops the selection. Alt click on the mask and we get it back. Now as long as we have this mask selected, I'm going to take the pencil tool to show you and make it very big. As long as we have it selected, here is with the black, here the masked area. I go undo and here is with the white and you can bring things back because I am still on the mask. So I can use any of the tools on the mask to affect the mask. If I click on the image, which I have here now, any of the tools that I'm using, I have this brown color selected, and I have the brush tool, and I'll make it quite large. And you'll see I can paint on the image. And I am not affecting the mask. So you have to be, when you uh, practice this tool, you have to be very much aware of what do you have selected. Do you have the image selected? Now I have the blue color chip here. Do I have the image selected? If I do, something will change on the image. Or do I have the mask selected? Here, you see I can use a soft brush to bring some things in from the background on this mask. So you have to be very careful and very much aware of what you're working on. Okay? Once you have your mask, to select your mask again, Alt-Control, and you can always go to the channel, and you can make an actual channel out of this. And a channel is a lot of things, but the most basic thing a channel is, is a save selection. If I want to make the black in the background and the white in the center, I just double click it and I change it. Color indicates masked areas and it's inverted. Okay, another thing when you're on here and you have it selected, you go back here and you have it selected, you can go to select and save selection and that's another way of of saving it and it goes in your channel palette.